Daryl, first of all, three unbeaten now gives yourself Sorry. gives yourself a um, a bit of a good foundation probably to go into your next run of games now with with, with something good behind you. I'm smiling because George's mic's broke, but. Uh... Yeah, it does. We just, like I said, and I don't want to sound like a repeated record, but just getting connections of, of new players coming into it. Uh, spirit's good. Spirit stayed the same. And like I say, a little unbeaten runner three now. We, we, we're disappointed, really, to be honest. You know, certainly the Salford and the Forest Green game, I thought, you know, I thought they should have been wins, if I'm honest, but they're not. And we just have to keep plodding away and keep keep working hard to try and try and turn more and more, more games into wins. He talks about those connections there. From the manager's point of view, is there much you can do about that? Have you just got to rely on those relationships to naturally develop? I'd be I'd be robbing the living if there didn't a lot I could do with it. To be honest, me and my coaching staff, that's that's up to our jobs to be able to do that, to be able to work on things on the training pitch. Or be it's, it's more difficult when it's Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Because of you know recovery and getting the legs back is obviously vital as well. But we, we do a lot of work on the training pitch to try and get smoother connections. Certainly with the with our forward thinking play, I think defensively, Touchwood, we've been pretty solid in the last three four games. We've given very 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 little away, and that has to continue while getting a little bit more flu fluid with our with our forward thinking football. That's the nut to crack now, I suppose, isn't it? Because if you want to get out of where you are at the minute, up back up into those playoff places and beyond, it's going to be goals that get you there. It is, and we were scoring goals. Also fun because we had connections early on in the season that have broken down. You know, TC's a, a big connection from from our midfield to our forward link and the connection that he brings. But as a manager, you have to adapt to it. You are, you know, every manager up and down the country have to adapt. These ain't excuses, and I don't want them to be excuses because I have to adapt to win games. Me and my coaching staff, that's what we have to do. So. And that's what we do do, and the, the lads are giving me everything, and we, we just want to make sure that in moments in games, which we had in abundance early on in the season, we have that bit of quality to be able to unlock with uh, with creating more scoring opportunities. Players like Tom Conlon and Jamie Proctor, for example, who've, who've been around a bit and know the game, are they just as important, even though they're not playing to you, from thinking for the dressing room and how they help the rest of the squad, just as much as if they were out there? Certainly, and they, and they are great lads. They're all my boys, whether they, they're on the pitch or they're injured or they're not, they're all my lads, and they've all got their part to play in, in, in building that energy and environment and culture that we, 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 we build at this football club. So everybody plays the part, you see that, well, you won't see it actually in the change rooms before games are all together. You feel the, the energy amongst lads that aren't playing and uh, there's, there's, uh, there's that goal of everybody in it together and that's where it's got to be at football clubs if, you, if we're going to achieve our goals. Does that, that's the thing, isn't it? A lot of people will just see the 11 or the 18 or whoever who are out there, but there are some lads who aren't playing and I know you've always stressed this, but they've got just as big a role to play even though people might not see them on a Saturday. Certainly, and I'm not one of those managers that don't go in the injury, treatment table. I think that the lads need that mental support when they're injured. Pro footballers do not want to be injured, trust me. I know played with one or two that do, but in general, pro, pro uh, footballers they don't want to be injured, and uh, you know, and, and it's important that you know they, they get that mental support because they want to be out on the pitch, they want to be out training with the lads, and uh, know that the manager's right behind them, and we, we're trying to do everything as possible with the medical team to get them back as quickly as we possibly can. Just talk to us a bit about the lad you brought in on deadline day, Sammy Robinson. Um, we've not had a chance to talk to you about him. What's he like? What 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 kind of got you got him here from your point of view? Listen, the pedigree speaks for himself. He's been at Man City since he was 14, so he's he's obviously a technically gifted player, and it's how quick myself and my coaching staff can now turn him into a lower league player. That's that's what we've got to do. 23s football. I watch a lot of under 23s football. Very games are very very similar, and it's how quickly they can adapt. We know he's technically a very good player. We've, we've we've done a bit of work on him over the last six months. I know Dave Flickcroft mentioned that we've been working on him since the summer, and he comes in as a as a permanent deal, which is a real boost. So we, we'll work away and, and improve him to the to the levels that he needs to be at with us. Um, when you get a player like that, I suppose you say it like you say it's it's getting him away from 23s where it can be quite comfortable to get him into that senior game where he's going to have to pick up bumps and bruises and do perhaps the ugly side of the game too. Yeah, and he'll adapt quick because he's a winner. And one thing is his character and his, his life. Uh, I'm not going to go into his details, but he's a, he's a, he's a winner and he's, he's he's eager to learn, to to impress and to kick on. And he's delighted to be here, which is, you know, you come from Man City and this is no disrespect because we've got, we've got as best facilities as we possibly can here at the minute. He's come from Man City where they've got absolutely everything. So to, to see him and meet him and and uh, do what we do, the hungerness of the lad to go on and go and prove himself in league football was, was great. And just lastly then, when you played Salford here a few weeks ago, you had a really good game, it just didn't quite click for you. I know you'll be professional about it, but is there a little bit of you that perhaps wants to go, well, we owe them one here? 
oh, I just want to win every game. It's an addiction for me trying to win football games, and it's another game where Salford they, they put their bodies on the line. They defended superbly when they was here a few weeks ago. We know each other very well, albeit they've made two or three signings. We've made a few signings, so it'll be a tough game. Like league, league two games are, it'll be it'll be tough, and we'll have to earn the right to to try and pick up them three points.